Let's perform fundamental and technical analysis of Goldman Sachs. We will cover all these points for better stock picking. Goldman Sachs closed at $349.14, with the increase of 2.14% in the last trading session. Let's look at today's trend indicators. The moving average is neutral. Technical indication is in downtrend, and overall daily trend for the stock is in declining trend. Looking at weekly analysis, the weekly stock trend is in positive trend. Today's market fear in greed index is 65, which is indicating greedy emotion in the public sentiment. We usually look at this indicator to make our buy or sell decisions better. Goldman Sachs gave negative 6.0. 64% returns in the last week, 1.09% in the last 30 days, and 3 months returns are 7.40%. Now let's have a look at simple moving average data. Moving average indicates that, what could be the next footprint of the stock price in near future? 5-day average is 348 with a bullish indication. 10-day is 356 with a bearish indication. 20-day average is 350, which is a bearish signal. Let's look at fundamental analysis. We will mainly see the last two quarters of the company. In September 22, the revenue was $18,482 million. In the recent quarter, December 22, it increased to $20,930 million. Now let's see the profitability of Goldman Sachs in the quarter September 22. The profits were $30.69 million. And in the recent quarter, December 22, the profits declined to $13.26 million. Let's see debt numbers. Debt to equity number tells us how much the company is in debt. In the first quarter, it was 8.07. Then it decreased to 7.87. Then in third quarter, it again went down to 7.59. In the recent quarter, the debt score declined to 7.26. Generally, this ratio should not be over 2.0. This is today's buy or sell decision for this stock, which is purely based on the technical indicators. This is not a recommendation, but use this just as a guiding pointer for your stock picking.